Hey everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of The Rock Experience with Mike Brand. On this episode, I'm excited to welcome back to the show one of my first guests ever, Keith Valcourt. Keith will share with us what he's been working on since leaving the Gene Simmons vault a couple of years ago. I think Keith has some really exciting news to share with us about Rock Camp and some of the opportunities there that I think you guys are going to really enjoy hearing about. Keith will also share with us a couple of other projects he's working on. So I think there's a lot to get excited about in this episode. So let's jump in and let's get started. Everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of The Rock Experience with Mike Brunn. Today, I'm excited to have back with me on the show one of my original guests from September 2019 was the first time he was with me. Almost two years later, please welcome back to the show, Keith Valcourt. How are you doing, Keith? Good, Mike. How are you? Is it, well, I don't know what time of day we're going to pretend it is. So uh, it's, no, it's, it's Sunday morning, my time. It's Sunday morning. All right, fantastic. Well, it's uh, very early here in L.A., but good morning. Good morning. And, yes. and let me say, you know, yes, I was one of the first guests, but I want to congratulate you because in the two years, it, it, this your show has grown and grown and grown and had it and, and a, a list of some very impressive people on it. So, I mean, congratulations on how how the show has actually grown from this little dream into a, a real rock and roll podcast where you, you know, you, you've got some, some pretty big names. No, thank you, Keith. I appreciate you saying that. And it's funny because I did start this a few years ago, just with the idea of, Hey, let's, you know, just have some fun, talk to some people, whatever. And little by little has grown. But like I said, you were one of the first ones on and I'll never forget that. So thank you. And it's great oh, yeah. to be catching up again. So, you know, how has life been for you the past couple of years? A little rough for everybody, well, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, if you take away the COVID part, cause obviously, COVID was terrible for everybody. In particular for us, it was really, really bad. My wife lost both of her parents to COVID mm, uh, in 2020. They were both in New York in the epicenter of it. It was, you know, it was unexpected. They were relatively healthy, but you know, it, it just, back then you didn't know. In April and May of 2020, we were just mm. figuring out what this thing is. So that was, that was kind of devastating. Um, for me, it was, you know, you take away that part, Things have been okay. Uh, I finished the vault job uh, officially in July of 2019. And I said, oh, this is fantastic. I'm gonna take a five, six months off because I had been around the world, hadn't slept in my own bed, hadn't seen my kids. And of course that five, six months extended into a year in five, six months mm -hmm. because, because of the pandemic. But you know, we made the best of it. We, uh, as I said, this is, this is part of my prison. I said, is, if we're gonna have a prison, let's have the <laughs> nicest cell possible. So we did a lot of improvements around the house and worked on a lot of things uh, and, and, you know, and, made, and made the absolute best of it. And again, in LA, you get up every morning and it's sunny, so it's hard to complain. Uh, and then, Flash forward the last, I guess it's been about three months now. It's it's great because I'm I'm back at work. I've got I've got a full time job uh, working for Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp, and I've finished a book with Dale Bozio, of Missing Persons, and my film. We uh, we have a documentary about Willie Tyler and Lester that we actually we were at a ventriloquist convention about a month ago, and we screened part of, a part of the film. So so all the pieces that were be coming together for a while are actually coming together. And then the rock and roll fantasy camp job. Shame, shame. Gene taught me how to do this. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, the, the, you know that that job is great for me because it's it's literally a continuation of what I did in the past, whether it was during my time at Capitol or during the Vault. It's dealing with fans and and pr helping provide these fantastic high end rock and roll experiences for you know for fans and 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 it's and you know it's back to that so i'm i'm excited i'm happy everyone's relatively healthy and uh, you know we just we just try to make every day as much fun as we can 
Yeah, no, and when I saw online that you got this job, I'm like, man, that's the perfect person for this job. You're always posting pictures through all the years, even from when you were like, I'll say a teenager or, or young, definitely <laughs> younger. <laughs> I, I only look like a teenager. I was well into my 20s, but okay. yeah, I only hit the wall recently. So I, I looked young for quite a few years. But uh, right, right. But you're yeah, always no, with no, all no, these I, different celebrities. Yeah, no, I've been, I, you know, I've had an incredibly lucky uh, life. I mean, I, I, you know, I went to college in Boston to be an actor. I went to Emerson College. Mm -hmm. I got my acting degree six months before I graduated. And I was always into music. I was the music director at the radio station. I was a DJ on the other radio station. So I was always into that and spent all my money on concert tickets and records and CDs. And it just happened that six months before I graduated, I, I was at a party uh, for a band called Flesh for Lulu that sadly no one remembers. Okay. Uh, they were signed to Capitol. They had a hit called I Go Crazy that was part of the Some Kind of Wonderful soundtrack. Again, okay. all information nobody knows cares. <laughs> um, and I, they offered me a college rep job. So six months before I graduated, I started working as a college rep at Capitol. And two months into that, my bo the boss came in from New Jersey and said, hey, he goes, listen, uh, we want to give you a full-time job. And I said, well, I, I, I got to graduate from college and go be a sitcom star. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, goes, yeah I, he said, we want to give you a full-time job hanging posters in record stores, picking bands up at the airport, dancing with Tina Turner, you know, all kinds of crazy. And I said, <laughs> okay. And so I took the job and I, you know, I said, how am I going to do that? He goes, just go do both. So I, I spent the last four years of my, four months rather, of my college, full-time college, full-time working at Capitol Records in Boston mm. and made it work. And it just, I mean, and I always, always, as you can see from behind me, I always had a camera. You know, before camera phones existed, mm -hmm. sorry kids, they, they, there was a time before <laughs> camera phones existed, there was a time where we had this little block that we carried on our belt called a beeper, <laughs> and it would beep and we'd pull off the road to a pay phone, mm -hmm. um, put coins in. Uh, so yeah, so I always had a camera, so I was, I'm very lucky because I just, I didn't collect autographs, I just always took the photos, so I have thousands of them at this point. Which, which is, great. is great, which, which again, to me, made you the perfect type of person and personality to be working with the rock and roll fantasy camp because you're used to dealing with these people. And I've always been very fascinated about the fantasy camp stuff because I mean, I've got some guitars hanging on the wall behind me. I can't play a note. And I'm always okay. wondering like with these kind of things, are they geared towards the expert, the novice? Like somebody no. who doesn't play, so they're, they're, could they come in and play? Yeah, so the, the, the reality of rock camp is it's, and it's rockcamp.com. Again, Gene told me that. The reality <laughs> of rock camp is it's for everybody. So if you can play there's different levels so what happens is someone signs up as a camper and they tell us their skill level we put them in a band with other campers who are of the same skill level and we assign them a rock star counselor and our rock star counselors are people like Vinnie Appice or Brit Lightning from Vixen or Tony Franklin or Billy Sheehan I mean they're 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 big rock stars in their own mm -hmm. right and they're like they're they're basically the counselor for the four days of camp and they hit, get the band ready. They put the band together and they get them ready to rock because every day you have a different headliner who comes to camp and they get to rock with the headliner. Now, if you're an intermediate, you end up in an intermediate band. If you're a beginner, we have beginner bands. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, even someone like yourself who, OK, you're not you don't play. We have something called the ultimate backstage pass where you can come to camp for the four days and you can be part of everything except for getting on stage and playing. So mm -hmm. let's say for, well, we're doing camps. We have, first camp is in November. We're doing November 11th through the 14th in Florida with Dave Mustaine, Nico McBrain, mm -hmm. uh, Richie Faulkner from Judas Priest, and Steve Morris from Dixie Dregs and Deep Purple. So nice. if you're like if you're a fan of one of those guys or both of those guys or four of those guys, you come to camp and you as the ultimate backstage pass and you hang around for four days and you're part of camp and you meet them and you get the photos, you get the autographs, mm -hmm. you get to be part of the Q and A's and the clinics and so forth. So we do have a lot of campers, you know, camp, we have a lot of campers to play, but we have a lot of campers that just come just to hang out. I have one guy, our second camp in December with Joe Perry, Tico Torres and Vernon Reed. We have one guy who's coming just cause he's a Tico Torres fan. He's met John, he met Richie Sambora, he met Phil, he met all the guys from Bon Jovi, but he's never met Tico. So he's going to come as an ultimate backstage pass and he's going to hang out at camp just to meet Tico Torres. So it's, it's really, it's really cool. It's really for everybody. And it, it, it transcends the stuff that I did before. It's not, you're not watching something and then the meet and greet. You're actually part of something. You're actually participating. You know, you're actually learning. And for the musicians, it's great because 
you're actually like you're not standing next to Joe Perry in a in, in a picture just in a picture for 12 seconds or whatever it is. You're actually playing Sweet Emotion or you're or or you know or Dream On or, or Crazy or Crying with Joe Perry. You get to jam, you and you and your new band get to jam with Joe Perry and you know people I, there's video and everything else and it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing to you know to live out your rock and roll dream. Most of these people who come to camp are successful in other walks of life. Right. And when they when they were younger, they wanted to be rock stars. You know, that's it's it's simple as that. But they became lawyers and doctors and a, 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 you know real estate moguls, whatever it is, or or gas station attendants. I mean, it's not necessarily just a high end crowd. It's people from all walks of life who were like, when I was younger, I wanted to be a rock star. Never got to be a rock star. I still play. Maybe I have a band on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And here I can come. I can spend four days at rock camp, and I get to be a rock star for four days with real rock stars. So it's it's a really it's a really cool thing. And for me, it's a perfect. It, it is a perfect match. When I you know when I knew the job was available, I reached out to David Fishoff, who owns Rock Camp, and I've known him. I've been to camp as a writer 10, 15 times, and I you know and I said, Let, why are you in, even interviewing anybody else? Just I'm the guy. <laughs> and, he, and he goes, he goes, why didn't he goes, I didn't think about it. I said, well, and then it, it, it made total sense to everybody across the board. And, and we've been, like I said, it's been, a, been going on three months now and we've got, you know, four camps on sale and it's been, uh, it's been great. Now, how does it work? Obviously, I'm sure people are concerned today's day and age COVID and all of that. So how does the camps work with, with people who are concerned about that? So, we, I mean, we have, first of all, we have camps all over the place. So the first two camps are in Florida. One's in November, one is in December. Uh, in January, we have a camp in LA, which is a women's only camp, which we could talk about in a little bit. And yeah. then we have a camp in Vegas, uh, the last day of March uh, uh, into early April of next year. We have a COVID policy in place where people have to be vaccinated. It's as simple as that. We, you know, look, I, I, I don't get into the politics of vaccination. Yeah. I only focus on the science. Having gone through what I went through, losing my in-laws, my wife works in science. I know the realities of science. So you have to be vaccinated. And we also have, you have to test 72 hours before camp. You have to show that you have a negative test. So you're not mm -hmm. coming into camp with COVID. You know, we're taking the precautions. We're, we don't want people wearing masks if, because that, that, you know, that's not rock and roll. And, mm -hmm. but we want to make, you know, the, the headliners have made it very clear to us. The, the rock stars have said, look, we're in, a, this is, these are intimate. That's the other thing about camp. Camp isn't thousands of people. It's, it's a hundred people or less. It's an intimate oh, wow. affair. Yeah. So you're not, you're not, you're not thousands of people. There's no crowds and so forth. So, and you're in rehearsal studios and, and jam rooms with these rock stars. And they made it very clear. They're like, look, we need to feel safe. We're, we're coming into rooms with strangers. Okay. We're going to be literally on the mic up close. It's not a situation where, you know, you can stand 12 feet away. So we've got the COVID policy in place to keep everybody safe. You got to be vaccinated. You got to come in with, the test that says, you know, that you're negative 72 hours ahead. And we're going to do temperature checks and we're going to, you know, we're going to have a COVID officer at the camps, just keeping an eye on things. And I think that everyone being of the same like mind will be able to kind of walk through the door, knowing everyone's safe, mm -hmm. put that away and then start rocking. That's the, you know, that's time. Yep. Yeah. Right. So now let's just say I'm a beginner or an intermediate bass player, right? And I'm really excited to be in a camp with Joe Perry and Tico Torres, right? How much time do I get jamming with them, right? Because here it is, I'm an intermediate, I can't play Sweet Emotion maybe on bass, right. but I, I could ride the open E pretty good, maybe something like that. So how much time do you get with somebody like that? So, so every so the, every band, you know, you're there for four days and over the process of the four days, you become a band. And every different day, there's a different headliner that comes mm -hmm. in. So say we have, on average, it's about 10 to 10 to 14 bands. So it's a, it's a 10 hour day and Joe comes to camp and he's there jamming with every single band. Wow. So you're getting in a room and you're actually playing songs with Joe Perry. And it, there's no, it's not, it's not like the other job I had where we had a stopwatch and we had to, there's no <laughs> set time. It's Excellent. literally like you were in there jamming with Joe Perry and you're going through some songs and, you know, and, and, it's it's the vibe of the room. So some people will be in there longer than others, you know, so forth. But everyone gets that kind of that kind of face time. And then the beautiful thing is at the end of camp on. So we have it ends on Sunday night with a big show. So we have a, a show at a big venue, and you're actually play. So for the Joe Perry camp, 
Sunday night, Steve Morse, who's a guitar player, of course, for Dixie Dregs mm -hmm. and Deep Purple. Mm -hmm. Steve's there on, on the Sunday. So Steve comes in and jams with everybody during the day. We break, we have dinner, we break, and then we come back to this venue. And you go to this venue and Steve Morse is going to play with every single camp band mm -hmm. at the venue. So you get, you know, you're getting jam time, plus you're getting time on a real stage. And then rewinding a little bit on Saturday night, we do a club show. It's a warm up show. And you, you, you never know like who's going to play, who's going to actually be, you know what I mean? You've got the, mm -hmm. all the different rockstar counselors jump up. It's, I mean, it's really, you know, it's, it, again, it's not, it's not your average stand on this line. Let's take a picture, meet and greet. It's, it's real interaction and it's, it's quality time spent with these rock stars. Yeah. And the only thing I could compare it to is I once did a Gene Simmons where I bought, I purchased a bass and then he did a master class afterwards. And again, I didn't know how to play bass at all, but I was able to ride that open E with the best of them. Yeah. Right. So, um, and over a two hour period, we wrote a song <laughs> together right. Right. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I still say for me, that was the best kiss related experience maybe of my life. Right. My daughter got up and sang with us, but it was two hours. Right. Two hours. This is four, yeah. this is this four is days. Four Four days. Right. This is four days, and it's not just one rock star. So right. November, right? November 11th through the 14th, like I said, Dave Mustaine, Steve Morris, Richie Faulkner, Nico McBrain. Okay. Incredible. December 2nd through mm -hmm. the 5th, Joe Perry, Tico Torres, Vernon Reed. Flashing <laughs> forward, March 31st through April 3rd, Scorpions, Queensryche, Sebastian Bach, and then in January, the women's only camp, Melissa Etheridge, Nancy Wilson. Kathy Valentine from the Go Go's and Orianti, you and, and and again, the four those are the four headliners. But you have another twelve rock stars of note. You know Tony Franklin, Billy Sheehan, Britt Lightning, Vinny Appice. Um, you know you it, it, and the women's camp. It's all the it's it's people like Jennifer Batten who played with Michael Jackson. It's it's I mean it's it's just that Rhonda Smith who played with Prince and Jeff Beck. It's just, you know, you've got all these other rock stars who are there as, as part of it. And it's four days. It's right. four days. It so, sounds, to me, it sounds like an incredible experience. And to me, right off the top, when you're listing Billy Sheen as like the second level, right. that's when you know you're dealing with quiet right. people it, here. That's, <laughs> that's exactly it. It's like, it's not like, you know, oh, who else is going to be there? Oh, the, the guy who was the replacement guy for the replacement guy in the right. band and the cover. No, no, no. It's it's Billy Sheehan who played right. with David Lee Roth. Right. You know, it's it's not it, exactly. The, the counselors are, are top notch. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it, if it was just the counselors, it would be an amazing four days, yeah. but it's, it's the counselors and these, and these massive headliners. And yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, and, and, you know, again, rockcamp.com people can go, there's, they can, you can see all the camps that are, that are out there that are happening. Um, you can sign up, you know, it, I can be re I'm a Keith at rockcamp.com. People can email me and ask a million questions because that's what I, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's an exciting, it's really an exciting thing. Um, you know, for, for a rock fan. And again, four days, not two hours, not, not, Hey guys, come stand in front of the band and let's take a picture. Okay. Get out. Right. No, it, it's, it's four days. It's, and it's all, it, it's, and it's a real kind of camp experience because you really do. One of the things I find and uh, found in, in, in doing this is people come back again and again and again, and then they bring new friends and there's that bonding that goes on over the four days. And you know, your band comes together and you really are, a band and I know some of these bands have gone on to actually record you know wow. we have a recording package too on, on a Sunday if people want that you know you can you can record a song some of these bands have gone on to play live shows together oh, um wow. it's you know yeah there, there's talk of down the line uh, possibly a tour with the with these different bands with the counselors hmm. with a couple headliners so there's yeah it's it's really I mean it's uh, it's totally unique it's something that you know I I don't do anything in my life that I don't believe in. And, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I also tend to not do anything in my life that aren't that much fun. You know, everything, <laughs> I've been very lucky. Every project I do, everything I'm associated with, there's an aspect of fun to it. And there's also an aspect of, wow, you know, if I had the money, I would love to participate in this, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's the vault, whether it's rockcamp.com, they're all, they're, they're, they're things that I go, I believe in. And uh, I like, I know the fans are getting cool rock and roll experience so yeah that's with rock camp i think you got you know you've got that and the beautiful thing is we have all the different camps so people have different styles of music that are in that they're into 
they can go to different camps. You know, if you're a metal guy, you go to the Mustang camp in November. Right. If you're classic rock, you go to Joe Perry. If you're the women's only camp is the first time they've ever done that. It's yeah. literally women's only. All the counselors, all the roadies. I'm not even allowed in the building. I, oh, wow. I joke with all. Yeah, I've been joking with all the women that I booked for it. I said I'll be outside with a card table selling lemonade. <laughs> it, it, we've created it. It's mm-hmm. literally just for female musicians, just for female campers, just for female headliners. Uh, so that's cool. And then, then of course, you've got the Scorpions and Sebastian Bach and Queens, right? And then we haven't announced this yet, but in President's Day weekend, which is in February, we're doing a 90s rock camp with two guitarists from two of the most legendary grunge era rock bands, wow. Wow. Um, which we'll be announcing that I think later this week. So, you know, it's if, you, if the other camps don't have something you like, you know, you, and you're a young, you know, younger cat who was like in the 90s, <laughs> mm-hmm. there you go. And again, you don't have to, it, it, if you play, it's great because there's plenty of spaces for players. But if you want to come and you don't play, there's the ultimate backstage pass. And it's, you know, it's an option for people who just don't, you know, just don't play or don't feel. You know, the funny thing is a lot of people come to camp sometimes as an ultimate backstage pass and because they're, they're not confident. They're like, oh, right. I could never okay. play. And then they get to camp. And they go, oh, I can do this. And then they come back as a, as a beginner or an intermediate, yep. you know? So it's, it, 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 it's, it's going to be great. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We're uh, you know, we're, it's going to be this, the end of this year and into next year, God willing, we're going to have, you know, it's going to be a, a lot of fun. It's one of the things I've tried to, I have a friend of mine who plays guitar, bass, drums, keyboards, he sings, he writes his own songs, produces his own songs. I'm like, Vin, you've got to go do this. This is yeah. right up your alley. And he's, he's talented in every one of those. But there's always, and I'm not saying with him, but I, you know, I, I sense there could be sometimes an intimidation factor. Like, wait, wait, I might, I might be good, but I'm not Joe yeah. Perry good. You know, but, but that, that's, the, that, that's the beautiful thing about it. Because that's, yeah, we call that the fear factor. We uh-huh. call that the, and the reality of the situation is you don't have to be Joe Perry good because Joe, you're not coming to camp to win a Grammy or to get a record deal. <laughs> right. Joe Perry is not going to turn to you and you go, you know what? That Steven Tyler guy, he's out. You're in. It's not, <laughs> it's not about that. It's, it's about Don, I was thinking of going in for a vocalist just for that reason. Yeah, it, it, but it's like, you, can, you can't, you can do it, but it's like, no, it's, about ha- it's about, ha- well, <laughs> it's about having a good, having a good time. And, and like living your rockstar dreams. It's not, a, it's not, it's a very non-competitive atmosphere. That's one of the great things about camp. Nobody is there in competition mode. And, it, and, and, and the counselors are there because they want to be there. You know, the people who we have as rockstar counselors, they, they, they don't need to be there. They're mm-hmm. there because they want to be there. They want to teach. They want to have that interaction. And the headliners that come in, same deal. You know, Joe Perry's not coming in and he's not going to be standing off the side of the stage going, he's not as good as, me. no, Joe Perry's <laughs> going to show you some licks and, you know, and he's, and he's going to, he's going to be happy to, to jam and play with you. It's, it's, it, you know, it really is. It's about, it's, it's about having a good time and there should be no fear because it's, because right. it's no competition, straight, straight up fun, fun atmosphere. So. Yeah, I mean, I, to, to your point that they want to be there, I think Bruce Kulik has done a few of these in the past, he's and I've done, heard yep. him speak very highly of them that he's had yep. a great time just as a counselor himself. So that to me tells me, first off, somebody like him going back a few times and doing it and then speaking so highly afterwards says that exactly like you're saying, even the counselors themselves are having a lot of fun doing this. Exactly. I mean, a lot, a lot of the people come back. A lot of the counselors come back repeatedly. A lot of the headliners come back. Ace has been a couple of times. Roger Daltrey, okay, it has nice. been, he's been in five different camps. Wow, I didn't realize it was you that know, many. <laughs> he, he and the beautiful thing about Roger Daltrey is he doesn't pick up a check. Roger Daltrey comes to camp and the check gets written directly to his cancer trust in England. Wow, he just, oh, that says he, a lot about him. Right, it says a lot about him, and it says a lot about camp because he mm-hmm. he likes being he he knows it's a good thing. He likes being there. He likes the atmosphere. He's not there for any personal self motivation. He likes coming to camp and he likes interacting with the campers. And it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's great because he, again, he's been there, he's been there five different times. He doesn't need to, Roger Daltrey doesn't need to come to camp, right. you know, and especially the, for the fact that he's not getting, he's, he's not, he's giving the check to, to his charity. So right. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, you know, it, it, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Remember, we remember it's Sunday morning here, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. <laughs> and it's early for you. It's very early. Oh, yeah, it is. And I was out late last night. So it was because uh, yesterday was the birthday. So. Oh, oh, it was your birthday yesterday? 
Mm -hmm. ah, happy birthday. Did not realize Thank that. You. Finally yes. 21. Congratulations. Yes, yes. <laughs> Finally 21 That's times right. three minus four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, so it, 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 again, it's it's an, it, it's de it, it speaks volumes that people like Bruce and Roger Daltrey come back again and again because yeah. it, everyone has a great time. Everyone, they, the rockers get something out of it as much as the campers get something out of it. And um, that's awesome. Yeah. That's exciting. Right. Now, did I see online also like is like lunches included? Everything, or yeah. in so the exactly the when you when you go to rockcamp.com, all the details are there, but everything is provided except for transportation and hotel. Okay. Um, you have to you have to take care of that yourself. But we do have a partner hotel. I know the rate in Florida is one fifty nine, and it includes free breakfast. I mean, we we you know we we made a deal, so it's it's affordable hotel wise. Mm -hmm. um, and and you got to get there yourself, whether you drive or fly, or whatever. But everything else is included when you're at camp. You don't even need a car. The minute you get you get from the airport to the camp hotel, you're in. We have vans that run to every single camp event. You don't need anything to worry about. You get to camp, there's lunch, there's, there's a pizza party on the first night with the counselors and there's a jam. There's all kinds of stuff. So, you know, there's 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 a swag bag with some t-shirts in it. Okay. <laughs> now, this is the old logo. This is the oh. old shirts. I haven't gotten the new shirts yet, but they'll be okay. uh, they'll be forthcoming. It, yeah, I mean, and it's all everything everything is all inclusive once you get there. So to me, it sounds like Disneyland for a rock is. It is, it is, and it, you know, and it's for, it's for all ages. You know, we have, you know, we have kid bands we, that come together, teenagers come together. You have, I had one guy the other day who signed up, who's 82 years old. So it's a, and we, we make sure when we assemble the bands, we make sure that we put people of similar talents and similar ages together. So Makes it's, sense. You know, it's a total, yeah, you know, you're going to have a room with a bunch of teenagers who are all playing. You're going to have a room with a bunch of older guys. You're going to have a room with a bunch of middle-aged guys and everyone and women and so forth. And you're going to have, mm -hmm. yeah. And and so it's a, it's very, it's a comfortable environment for everybody. So I know you said before that the one with Nancy Wilson and Melissa Etheridge and others are for women only, right? And I totally right. get that. That's great. The other camps, is it men or women can join Everybody. Us? No, no. So, so no, every, no, under, under the, the way camp is, it's inclusive to everybody. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. It's yeah, men, women, children, the whole nine. Uh, everyone's everyone's invited. Everyone's welcome. Everyone participates. Everyone has a good time. The women's only camp is the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. But we we worked with some producing partners, and we really wanted to kind of look. It's time. It's it's a, it, it, and we really wanted to celebrate women and create this safe space for women. So it's literally just women. Everyone participating there will be women. Um, and that's, yeah, that's something completely different. That's, that's going to be here in LA in Los Angeles, January 27th through the 30th. Um, and it, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, I'm, I'm jealous because, you know, the women's, <laughs> the lineup of the women's only camp is, is really impressive, you yeah. know, both from a headliner, from a counselor standpoint. Uh, I want to be part of that, but it, I get it. It's like, yeah. no, it's going to be, it's going to be women only. It's going to be all, which is, which is kind of exciting. Now, we, now mind you, we do for that camp, there will be the shows, obviously the show we're going to play, they're playing the Viper room and the whiskey. So anyone can come to those shows. Yeah. Those are open to the public. Um, and, and we, we did set up something. So if, if you're, if you're, if you're a husband or a boyfriend and your wife's going to women's only camp and you're going to come to LA as well, I set up something called the man cave package where <laughs> it'll be me and a van and all the guys who, who, you know, who, while their wives are off doing rock camp or the girlfriends or even just female friends, whatever it is, they can get in the van with me and they can come and, you know, we're going to go to the Peterson Auto Museum. We're going to go to Cantor's and hang out with Mark Cantor, who wrote a book mm -hmm. on Guns N' Roses. We're going to do some rock. We're going to go to Amoeba, go record shopping. So we're going to do some, <laughs> some rock and roll stuff. Um, and uh, the other thing about camp is that we have something at every camp called the groupie package. So if you come to camp and you sign up as a camper and, and your significant other, wife, husband, partner, whatever it is, they can come to camp as a groupie. So, oh wow, nice. yeah. So that's that's for you know they we have that package available and they can be there for the four days as well. With the women's only camp, we're only allowing females to come as mm -hmm. groupies, so they can bring their girlfriends, their wives, whatever it is. Whatever. So, right. But we're like I said, we're keeping the guys. The guys are going to get the man cave package, mm -hmm. and the activities go on at the same time. So while rock camp is going on for the female rockers and the groupies, we're going to be doing that off to the side. So that you know, because someone said, "Well, I want to come on the man cave package. I'm a woman." I said, "You're welcome, but you're." You, you're already at camp you can't right. do they're happening at the same time right, right, so right. yeah so that's for the women only camp but every other camp if, if people can bring bring someone as their as groupie 
and you know it's 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 just i i, I mean i don't i don't i I'm not, i don't feel like i'm overselling it it really is a unique rock and roll experience it's four days you know i i, I not there's very few things that you can have that kind of quality excitement and fun at, over a four day time period you know so yeah and all the like I, all the information rockcamp.com they can see all the different camps Later this week, we're announcing the, the 90s era grunge rock camp. So that's going to be, that'll be popping up probably about Thursday, Friday this week. So then we'll have five camps on sale. And then David Fishoff, who runs it, is working on just a ton of different things. We're, we're working on doing a songwriters camp in, no in Nashville. We're working on trying to do a funk camp. We're hmm. working on, there's all kinds of things that are, he, he's always got stuff going on. On top of that, he just put out the documentary. There's a Rock Camp documentary as well. People can see. There's a link mm -hmm. on the site. So you know, he's always got. He's been doing Rock Camp for 25 years. So he's mm -hmm. always got stuff. He's always got stuff brewing. He's always trying to find ways to make it better. And I, I feel privileged that he brought me on board to help with that. And he's very, very open to listening to I, new ideas and how do we make it better? How do we make it? You know, how do we make it more inclusive for more people? How do we? Mm -hmm who do we try to get rock star wise that we've never had who right. do we bring back that everybody loves and, and uh, you know it's exciting because it's a, it's a business that has potential to to grow you know it, even after 25 years has potential to grow in different directions and i'm i'm excited that I'm, i get to be part of that yeah you know look from a distance i've read about it i've seen some of the videos online so i've always been like <laughs> gee, that sounds exciting. You know, it'd be really cool to, to know somebody's going. It's a, hearing you talk about it to me just makes me say, one of these days, I've got to try this myself, even you if it's just as a spectator. You know? Yeah. Well, you maybe go, I'll just go, practice a little bit of guitar or bass before. Either, either way, you go, you, the ultimate backstage pass, again, mm -hmm. you know, it's $2,500 for the ultimate backstage pass. For, for four, four days, days, that's not bad. With, with at least three headliners, you know, mm -hmm. That's, you know, the, if you want to sign up as a camper, it's around $6,000, but that's, again, you're playing, you're part of that. But if you want to come as a spectator, you, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty amazing thing to think about it because the vault costs two grand for a day. Right. You can come to rock camp as a spectator as an ultimate backstage pass for 2,500, or even the fact that you can come as a rocker for, for just under six grand, you know, if you break it on down by the four days and you break it on down by how many hours, it, it you know it, it far surpasses any any kind of any kind of meet and greet experience that's out there. So. I agree, and you know one thing I want to add, and correct me if I'm wrong, Keith, but you don't need that whole payment up front either, right? You I think it's no, like a five hundred dollar deposit or something like that. Exactly. To, to, so what? Yeah, what we have is we have a payment plan. So you pay five ninety nine to sign up. That mm -hmm. locks in your space. You're in. You're assigned. If you're if you're a player, you're assigned to a band. You're you're in. And and then every month, a equal because part of your payment gets taken off the hit on the right. credit card. So once a month. And again, if you do it, like for instance, if you do the Scorpions camp, March 31st to April 3rd, you've got so many months in advance right. that, you know, it breaks on down and you don't even, yeah. So it, it, I, I tell people if they're, even if they're on the fence about it, 599 locks in your space. If right. for some reason you can't show up, if so, you don't change, you can, you always get credit towards the future camp. Okay. Um, so it's not, it's, you know, it's like some people get cold feet and they back out. If, you know, and, and, and again, we're, we're taking all these precautions with COVID and we're, if it gets, if for some reason you can't show up because of COVID, we're giving refunds, mm -hmm. which is, you know, you can, you can choose between taking the credit towards a future camp or get a refund if it's COVID related. So, you know, I tell people, I'm like, don't, if you're thinking about it, do it, sign yeah. up, go to rockcamp.com, sign up, pick your camp, pick the camp and, and, you know, come to camp, get re get ready to come to camp and take that fear factor and throw it away. Because one of the things we do, we do now is if you're signing up as a musician, you get the song list months in advance. So oh, okay. Excellent. you know what the songs are. It's not, it's not a situation where you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna play. If you're, if you're coming to camp and you sign up within 72 hours of signing up, you get all the information, you get the song list, you know what songs, so you can start practicing. You know, mm. or in your case, just ride that open E. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could do that. Oh man, that that Keith, it sounds absolutely great. So you said people could contact you how? So they can, yeah, questions? they can either they can either go to Rock Camp, Rock Tank, Rock Camp dot com, mm -hmm. and there's the information there. There's the main number is there. Uh, they can call me on that, or they can just email me Keith at Rock Camp dot com, and it's K E I T H because some people spell it wrong, <laughs> at rockcamp.com. And they, yeah, and they can send me, you know, they can email me. And, and if it's any of the people from the past, from the vault, 
they all still have my cell phone number. So they there can you call, <laughs> you know, they, they can call that as well. As long as it's not in the middle of the night, I'll pick it up. Um, but yeah, rockcamp.com has all the details. Keith at rockcamp.com if they want to reach out, if they have questions, if they, you know, if they, they want to sign up, they can do that and I'll call them and we can do it directly. And the sign up process is, is really easy, really simple. It's just, you know, a few questions and you, you know, about your skill level, your n instrument and so forth. Right. And yeah, and then and then you get ready. You get the you get the song list. You get ready. You get you, you plan for camp, and you know you come hang out with people that were on our bedroom walls as kids. That I mean that's that's the other thing. Doesn't that get blows. better than that. Yeah, I mean it's like as a, as you know as a rock fan, that still blows me away that you know these are people that they're they're I know they're just people because again I've met a lot of people. Yep. <laughs> they're just they're just people at the end of the day, but there's something really magical about when you're a kid, you had a poster on your wall of Aerosmith, or you had a poster of Megadeth, or you had a poster of, you know, of the Go-Go's or whoever it is, Scorpions, whatever camp, and you look up and you like, that was the band you loved and you saw them in concert from far away. Mm -hmm. You know, because when we were teenagers, we couldn't afford the good tickets, so we were in the nosebleeds and then far right. away. Okay. And, but now you're, now you're at a point in your life where you have the financial ability to f literally fulfill your dreams. And then you're going to be standing like right here is going to be Joe Perry and mm -hmm. you're going to be playing with Joe Perry and, you know, and, and T or Tico Torres or Vernon Reed or Dave Mustaine or, you know, the Scorpions. So uh, Mateus and, uh, and Rudolph from the Scorpions. And so, yeah, it, it's, amazing. it's pretty amazing. They, we like, uh, you think about it, you're like you, that, that we've, that we've come so far, Mike. We've progressed yes. so far <laughs> yes, that we can actually now have access to our heroes. So and true. to spend four days in, in an environment, you know, in a in, in a happy environment with very like all of these guys and, and, and female rockers as well is is astounding. You know, it, it sounds it, incredible. It sounds yeah. and you Keith, I want to add one thing here. You gave out your email address, you told people to reach out to you. I know on my Facebook page that I run, um, I still see people every once in a while say, talk about the vault and they say, oh, talk to Keith. Keith <laughs> guys, Keith has nothing, as you've heard for the last, yes. whatever, half hour, 45 minutes. Keith yeah. has nothing to do with the vault anymore. If you reach and out to him, it's about rock camp, not the vault. Okay? Exactly. As I just want to make that of, clear, Keith, sorry. Yes, as of July, 2019, my contract with the vault ended and I'm very proud of the work I did. I, I still say to this day, I stand behind the vault. I think it was a truly unique experience. I think, you know, the price point for what people got at those experiences, we went above and beyond to make sure people had an amazing time. And just the vault itself yep. was, is an amazing takeaway piece. I, I, you know, those songs, I still go back to those CDs every once in a while in the car and I'm really proud of it, yep. but that happened then. And, you know, and, and it's, and I don't, and, and I have no idea what they're doing with it. Someone, someone, re people recently emailed me, I guess they sold some of them with just the vault. You know what, if you, if you, if you didn't get one and you have 500 bucks, you should have gotten one of the ones they Agreed. sold, but I don't know anything about, I haven't talked to Gene since April of 2019 and I don't mm -hmm. have a reason to, our deal was done. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't really talk to the Rhino folks anymore, other than the, 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 the guys there that are friends of mine in the real world. So yeah, if you, I, I'm, I'm on Facebook as well. I've got hundreds of friends I don't know. Um, they, they, you know, I, if you reach out to me, if you it, go, I prefer to go to Keith at rockcamp.com. But if you're, if you're on Facebook and you were connected or you see me on Facebook, you want to shoot me a message, I'll answer the message. You know, I, I, absolutely. And I, I, again, about rock camp, because I don't have any answers. <laughs> yes. I don't have any answers in regards to the previous administration. Um, and uh, it's yeah, a different I, job I, I now. It, it would be like somebody reaching out to me about a job I had five years ago. Well, exactly. I have no idea. It, it, no exactly. idea. They've moved on without me, and that's yeah, exactly. like this. Hey, you know, yeah, exactly. How how was how oh how was how was that class? Which class? Well, the one you took in college in 1988. Well, <laughs> uh, not there anymore. Yeah, no. It, it, and again, proud of it. Think think it was amazing, but definitely in the rock camp mode and if any and I, and I say to people honestly if you had a good time at the vault if it was something that you know that then consider rock camp and if it's within your means come to rock camp because it's it's definitely it's it's this again because it's four days and if the rock stars on the list the rock the headliners and the counselors if they're if you're fans of those you the interaction is so intimate and personal and 
unlike anything you're going to experience. So I tell people, I'm like, if, if you if you liked what happened in the past, you should come to this because this is, you know, I, I take pride in what I do. And this is definitely something that's going to be, you know, a, a step up from anything I've ever done. So rockcamp.com, rockcamp.com. Did I mention rockcamp.com? You, you should know. make make sure you mention Robert it right now. Reads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rockcamp.com. I think you need and a only, shirt also, Keith. Uh, I, I wish I had a shirt. <laughs> I wish I would. Yes. Subtlety. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, that's great. You know, just really quick, if you don't mind, while we have a few minutes here, last time I had you on, which like I said, was two years ago. I know outside of Rock Camp, you're working on a couple of things. You touched on it very briefly at the beginning. Maybe just give us an update. I know you're working on a documentary. You want to give us an update on that? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I may, I'm, we're very close. Uh, we made a, film, a documentary about Willie Tyler and Lester. It's the total opposite of Rock Camp. Uh, <laughs> Willie Tyler and Lester are, are a legendary ventriloquist team from the 1970s. Um, the, here, here in my man cave, there are some of the, these are the, some of the Lester dolls that were made mm -hmm. uh, for, for people. Um, so that's, yeah, that's called Hello Dummy. Um, the website actually for that is hello-dummy.com. And it's about this this fantastic man who chose a path that was completely unexpected. There were no African American ventriloquists mm -hmm. of any note when he was a kid. There were some in, in, in vaudeville and some in the Chitlin circuit, but there were none of note. And he chose mm -hmm. this path and had this amazing career and was a face that you saw on television in the 70s and 80s. Everything from Laugh-In to the Jeffersons, Hollywood Squares, all of the you know Merv Griffin, Mike Douglas, all of the classic television shows. He was on and he's still alive. We spent last night, uh, I spent my birthday last night with him at a private gig wow. in Bel Air where he performed for, for a large group of people. Um, he's 80 years old, the nicest man you'll ever meet in your entire life, the, the most unassuming man. We just got back a month ago. We were in uh, lovely Kentucky. We were in uh, Fort Mitchell and Erlinger, Kentucky for the National Ventriloquist Convention. Uh, oh, wow. there's, a, there's a museum in, 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 in Kentucky in Fort Mitchell called Vent Haven. And it's the mm -hmm. Ventriloquist Museum. And once a year they have their convention and we went and we showed 42 minutes of the film. The film's about oh, wow. 90 minutes finished. Mm -hmm. uh, we showed 42 minutes of the film to 425 ventriloquists, uh, all with puppets on their hands. And- <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was, and, and we, and the reaction was great. And we did a Q and A and Willie got a standing ovation. Mm -hmm. And then Willie headlined the, uh, the, the closing night show. Um, so that, that's, yeah, that's something that we're, we, again, hello-dummy.com. Hopefully we're going to be done with it in the next year. We're trying to, we're trying to get it done so that we can have it ready for streaming services for next year. We've got a ton of celebrities in it. Chris Rock is in it. Gilbert Gottfried is in it. Uh, Mary Wilson, who sadly we lost from the Supremes, Otis Williams of the Temptations, um, Pee Wee Herman, pa Paul Rubens. We have all of these great, amazing celebrities who in, in one way, shape, or form, really touched their lives, and they were, you know, they were more than happy to be part of the film. And yeah, that's a passion project. It's been five years in the making. I, I, I when I started, I had no idea that a documentary takes that long, but apparently mm -hmm. it does. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone was like, "Oh, you're only three years. You had two more years." And I'm like, "No, no, we're almost done." They're like, "No, <laughs> you're not." Um. So yeah. So that's 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 almost uh, that's very close to done, and it's great. And the other thing yep. is. And this is this is not the final cover, okay. But the other thing is, uh, I wrote a book with Dale Bozio. Dale, of course, being the legendary lead singer of Missing Persons, yep. the '80s band Missing Persons. Um, Dale, of course, previous to that, working with Frank Zappa, and post Missing Persons, was signed to Paisley Park and had a, uh, a tumultuous uh, relationship with Prince. Um, so uh, I've known Dale for about three decades. We've been friends and she, I, I ran into her right in at the beginning of, gosh, it's, I guess, right at the beginning of the, of, uh, the end of 2019, I went to see her mm -hmm. and we were hanging out and she said, Hey, I, I want to write a book now as a writer, cause I've been published in tons of magazines, newspapers as a writer. If I had a dollar for every time a rock star says, I want to write a book. <laughs> right then I'd have four or $500. And I said, Dale, it's great that you want to write a book. Everyone wants to write a book. She goes, no, 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 I have a book deal. And I said, okay. So I, we, we, we did about 65 different sessions. We laughed, we cried. She told me all the stories. Then, then, I, you know, then I made her dig deeper and she told me more stories and that's going to be coming out on Cleopatra books 
at some point before Christmas of this year. It's oh, called Life is So Strange um, by Dale Bozio and, and Keith Falco to get this and, and, um, okay. <laughs> and, it, and it's, it's, it's a fascinating story. I mean, you know, if you're, if you're a Zappa fan, if you're a Prince fan, if you're a missing persons fan, if you're an eighties new wave fan, you know, it's, it's astounding. And it's a survivor's survivor's tale. It's not, you know, it's not just, I'm a rock star and this is what happened to me. She had, she almost, there's, I don't want to give it away, but there's parts of the book that you went, you're just sitting there going, how did you live through that? You know, there's oh, wow. these, okay. there's these moments that she survived and not only survived, but went on to thrive that would have killed, you know, uh, someone of, of lesser strength. So, and, 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 and again, she's another one who's, she's still doing it. I saw missing mm -hmm. persons probably about a month ago. Um, you know, she's, she's got her own lineup and so forth, but yeah, so that's coming out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. That's coming out before Christmas. Life is so strange by Del Bozio and Keith Valcourt uh, on Cleopatra books. It's not on sale yet. So it's something that's coming. Hello dash dummy, the film, hello dash dummy.com. Uh, that's coming. Hopefully, like I said, early next year, it'll be, uh, we're trying to make a deal, either Netflix or Hulu, some, you know, one of the streaming services. And then, you know, the big, the day to day is rockcamp.com. Rockcamp.com. <laughs> four camps november's heavy metal camp december's classic rock camp january women's only march into april scorpions camp in vegas and then like i said february president's day weekend we're going to be announcing the 90s rock camp with two legendary you know 90s era guitar players from from you you can guess there's four bands from that time period right, right. Um, you can, but you can guess who they are based on based on the four There's biggest four bands band. from that time period, and one of the guitar players is no longer with us. Correct. So you so, know, so, so now not, you're down so to three. Yes. And and I will say it's it's not only these two guitar players, but it's the original drummer of one of the other Seattle-based bands wow. that still continues today. So yeah, sounds awesome. You people sounds can put awesome. the pieces together, but Absolutely. go to rockcamp.com and you know follow everything. That happens. Reach out to me. I, you know, I'm, if if you have any questions uh, that have to do with Rock Camp, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean that's that's it's a pretty. I guess it's a pretty full plate when you say it all out loud. I think so. You know, as you're talking about all of this, I'm thinking about you know, two years ago when we first spoke, right? And the vault had just wound down. In between that conversation, and this one, there's a pandemic, but. You've been working on a documentary. You've got a book done. You're doing these rock camps. You got five of them already scheduled. I'm like, hey, you sound like you're a pretty busy guy right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and I and I have a successful marriage and two teenagers. So yeah, you have to. Well, here's the thing. I mean, life is about experiences. Life is about Creed. doing stuff, and and life is for the living. And you know, and I've I've been very lucky, very lucky my entire life, my entire career have all these amazing things happen to me. I mean, you know, besides all the jobs I've had, I also was an actor for a while. I was on The Office and I was on In Legally Blonde. And, you know, it, it's like when you when you look at it, you just you, you just realize how incredibly lucky you are. And if, you know, if you can fill your days with things that are exciting and things that are fun and, you know, and you're able to, to survive and pay your bills and, you know, keep everybody as healthy as you can, then you're, you know, you're you're the luckiest person in the room. You know, no. I'm not rich, but I have an amazing life. You know, I have, an, and I've got the photos to prove it. You so, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's just, it, it, it's just, again, it's, it's, it's a, I'm very, very lucky and I'm very appreciative um, for everything. So. Well, I'll, I'll close on this, Keith. You just said that I think the perfect closing comment, life is about experiences. And when I did four vault experiences, people always ask me, how did you get the money for that? So I sold off most of my Kiss collectibles to do right, that. Right. Because at the end of the day, I realized a jean doll on the shelf over here collecting dust doesn't mean as much to me as, as the memories and the experiences. And rock camp to me sounds like perhaps the highest level of experience it's, that you can it, get. It is, <laughs> so. Again, it's the ultimate, you know, it's the ultimate experience. Yep. It's four days. Like if it's, you just look at who the headliners are. If, if someone there has been on your bucket list forever that you've always wanted to meet, imagine, again, you're not just meeting, you're jamming with them. You're yeah. hanging out with them. And, and there's another 15 rock stars who are around the entire time and you're interacting with them Amazing. and you're hanging out with them. And you're, yeah, I, I mean, I really is, you know, things are, things are nice, but the, one of the reasons I never collected autographs is because I, those, those are things. All my photos are moments in time where I can pick a 
photo off a wall and I could tell you the story behind it. Yep. And I could tell you the emotions that I felt. I could tell you what it was like to be there. That to me is, you know, well worth it. You know, you just, you, you literally use joke. Okay, here's a, oh, look, here's a, let's see, instead, oh, here, here's, a, here's a book I have. Well, that's great. Yeah. You, read the, you read the book, and then what do you do with the book? It's, it's on the shelf. Put it on the shelf, yeah. But if you have the experience, and you have the photo and so forth, you carry that with you. Forever. And yeah, and, and, it, and, it, and it brings you joy. All you have to do, you don't need anything. You just sit there, and you think, and you go, remember the time, and boom, the memories come rushing back. I, I, I'm, I'm one of those guys that, like, I, I can smell like I, if I have a memory, I can remember what it smelled like. You know what I mean? And you just, and that comes, and you carry that forever. Now, and, and and again, one of the things we learned with the pandemic is life is really short. Life is not, you know, don't don't say let's do that next time. Don't mm -hmm. say we should. You know, if you if it's within your means, if you can afford it, come to rock camp, come mm -hmm. experience it, be part of it, jam with the rock stars you've always wanted to meet and jam with, and and take home the pictures to prove it. And, you know, and again, rockcamp.com, everything's there. You know, if it's, it, it, I always say to people, I'm like, if, you, if it, it's in, if it's within your means, do it. Absolutely. Don't do it tomorrow. Do nope. it today because tomorrow's not promised to anybody. So, no. Nope. And on social media, you're not going to post a year later, hey, I read this great book because yeah, I have read exactly. that book you held up and it was great. Exactly. I loved it. But oh, I will I post, oh, I was at the vault last year at this time and here's my picture with Gene. Exactly. And here's my yeah, picture with Vinnie Vincent like, or whoever it is, right? So, you're like, oh, I bought the, you know, exactly. You're not going to you're not going to post about oh i you know hey remember that time i bought that that, that wheel for my car and right. uh, <laughs> no you're gonna you yeah i mean and, and that's part of, i the funny thing is that's part of the whole life experience isn't it i mean social media is about it's sharing your life with everybody mm -hmm. and without bragging saying look you know wow i it, it's that childhood wonder where you go wow i get to do this mm -hmm. and you're absolutely right a year from now we're not gonna we're not gonna post about what we had for breakfast today right. or what shirt we bought. We're gonna post about what we did and and you know and and re, you get to relive those memories again and again and again. And yep. yeah, I mean it's 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 exciting. I'm glad to be part of it. And you know, rockcamp.com is it, it people should just ju it, just do it. Just go there and check it out and just do it and you know and, and we're gonna have a good time. Well, Keith, it sounds great. I'm hoping I take that jump. I go in, even if it's Do as it. a spectator, like you said, I look forward to seeing you again in person because it's Absolutely. been too long. And um, like Keith has said, everybody check it out. Rockcamp.com. There's a camp for all different um, expertise. There's people to watch. If you're male, if you're a female, whatever it is, there's something out there for everybody. Rockcamp.com. Thank you so much, Keith. I really Thank appreciate you. it. It was awesome oh, catching good. up. Everybody, in case you didn't hear, rockcamp.com. I, I think they might, have, they might have heard something. That's right. That's right. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks again, Keith. Stay well. All right, everybody. All righty. There you have it. I'd like to thank Keith for spending some time with me talking all about Rock Camp. I can tell you that sounds really exciting to me. I've watched a little bit from a distance, seen those experiences in the past. And I think hearing Keith talk about it makes me realize I got to jump in and do one of those. I think you guys should as well, whether you're a musician or not, it sounds like a wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Keith, for sharing all that information. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button below. If you're listening to one of my podcasts, subscribe over there as well. Also, head on over to Facebook and follow my page, The Rock Experience with Mike Brunn, where each and every day we talk about all the rock and roll music that you love. You could also follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you all next time.